Welcome to the Idaho Business Podcast, the only Idaho podcast focused on providing profits for Idaho people. If you love our state and love small business, you are in the right place. We interview local legends, learn business, and have way too much fun doing it. You're listening to the Idaho Business Podcast with your friend, host, and all-around great guy and owner of New Clean Commercial Cleaning, Spencer Ward. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode. I'm here with Christina Finnerty. Did I, did I pronounce that right, Christina? You, you did. You did awesome. Perfect. Uh, she is a partner at Ridgeline Medical in Idaho Falls, and uh, she has a vast uh, experience in, in the medical background. She is a nurse practitioner. Uh, she got, got her undergrad at, uh, well, excuse me, her, her nursing degree at uh, the Idaho State University and went on to her nurse practitioner uh, program at the University of Utah. And since then, she's been in the Idaho Falls area, am I correct? And, and helping out some surrounding areas, too. Yeah, yep. I've been here for since 2000. No, well, since I was eight years old. So a long time. We're not going to say how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That is perfectly fine. Uh, we we are not going to get her video today. Uh, so we got some technical issues. Uh, so I will put a picture of her uh, so everyone can see her as she talks. So, uh, Christina, I appreciate you coming to on this episode today with the with the, with the Idle Business Podcast. How, how did you uh, get the bug to be uh, a medical practitioner? Well, I want to thank you, Spencer, for having me on today. Yeah. I'm super excited um, for, you know, for you reaching out to me. Um, my background, I have wanted to be in medicine since I was little. I don't remember um, how. I do remember when I was little, I wanted to be a neonatologist, which is a, a infant baby doctor. Um, and then... Um, it just was, I don't have anybody in medical in my family, but I graduated from high school and immediately knew I wanted to go into the nursing program. So I started at ISU, finished my BSN RN there, and then I either wanted to work with pediatrics or work in the emergency room. So I ended up getting a job at Primary Children's and I worked in a program called Peds to Pick You, which meant I was trained to work in the pediatric intensive care unit. So I did that and would have stayed there forever, but part of my plan was to become a nurse practitioner. So to do that, um, they really want you to have a couple of years experience as a nurse and then go on to graduate school. So I followed that plan. And as I worked in the PICU, started at the University of Utah Pediatric Nurse Practitioner Program, but then decided I really wanted to be local back in Idaho Falls. And at that time, which was 19 years ago, there were no what we call mid-levels, nurse practitioners, PAs in general practice. Now every practice has one, which is interesting, but back then there wasn't any. Um, and so I moved home and uh, got into the family nurse practitioner program at ISU and graduated in 2003. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So why was it that uh, they didn't have that type of practitioner uh, at that time? Or why nurse weren't they using this? And, and physician's assistants just weren't as utilized as much. Um, now they have figured out that it is um, less expensive to hire a nurse practitioner or a physician assistant. And we can do a lot of the same things. We do not call ourselves physicians and we don't pretend to be physicians because they do have many, many more years of experience, but we can work alongside um, physicians. And in Idaho, the awesome thing about nurse practitioners is we can actually, we stand independent. So we can own our own practice. Um, I don't do that. I work in partnership with other providers, which I think is really, really fun because we have an entire team of medical providers. And I love that we all have different things that we focus on, different specialties, and we collaborate for a whole team approach, which I love. I love that. Before we get further into that, I always forget to, to take my first sponsorship time out, but we are sponsored by Sensations in Pocatello and Twin Falls. These guys are phenomenal. If you want your mani pedis or your massages or your tanning or spray tans, uh, you can go to these guys and they will take care of you. Here soon, you will have a uh, great offer 
to go into uh, one of these uh, locations and tell them that you heard about them on the podcast and they will give you a sweet, sweet deal here soon. So go check them out. Twin Falls or Pocatello uh, and Christina, let's get back to you with this um, Ridgeline Medical. Like you, you've, you've been, uh, you've been, you've worn many hats as, as you've gone through the, uh, th- through the years in your medical practices. Um, you said a few of your few doctors that you knew got together and providers to form Ridgeline Medical. How did that, uh, is that kind of your first, I think, uh, maybe taste of like maybe business ownership and, and all that kind of thing, or, or have you had that before? No, this is my first taste and it has been, <laughs> it's been a definite learning um, opportunity. I, I have realized over the years that no matter what opportunity is presented to me, I make the best of it and learn from it. Um, as I um, had told you a little earlier, I have worn a lot of hats. I, in medicine, the reason that I love medicine, and I think one of the things that I'm so proud of, of being part of medicine is that, you know, you can get a degree and then you can learn on the job. So I've had the opportunity to do many, many things. I've worked in anti-aging and what we call now uh, root cause medicine or functional medicine, integrated medicine. I've been part of an amazing women's health practice. I have been part of a family practice that another nurse practitioner started. She was actually the first nurse practitioner in Idaho Falls to start her own practice, Laura Mm -hmm. Mason. And I have done urgent care, which I um, jumped right into and really loved at the time. Um, one of the favorite things um, for people to ask me when I was doing urgent care is, what, what cool and exciting thing did you get to see today? <laughs> and then from urgent care, I kind of went into sleep medicine, and, and my family had to stop asking me what cool and exciting things <laughs> I did because sleep medicine spectrum. isn't exactly, um, you know, I'm not dealing with broken bones and stitches and things, but it was actually the foundation to what I do now because sleep medicine, you know, sleeping is the foundation to living. So honestly, it gave me the greatest amount of appreciation for just helping people learn the basics. And so it has been really different um, being a practice owner as opposed to an employee. And I think there's good sides of both. Um, Mm -hmm. I um, had some interesting experiences when I was an employee and I kind of decided that I wanted to be on part of the ownership side of things so that I was more in, not control, but more in um, more able to be part of the decisions that are being made and the impact sure. that I can make. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're still trying to figure all that out. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's, it's a fun one to, to figure all that out. How long has Ridgeline Medical been, been open? We have been open for two and a half years now. We okay. Ridgeline Medical as the primary care and urgent care actually opened one year ago in the old Teton Pharmacy building across from Cabela's. Prior to that, though, we were actually branded as comprehensive primary care and wellness clinics. Um, And we kind of rebranded because it was confusing everybody. And so we've been at our current location for about a year. Sure. Perfect. Yeah. So now that you've been uh, had that taste of business ownership, what's your favorite part about uh, being that partner? in in the business ownership world? I would say my favorite part is I have an amazing, amazing group of partners. We really um, handpicked, I would say, each other to go into this partnership together. We get along amazing. And I think that's pretty rare. There is six of us. And so... We have um, we have an MD, Dr. Danny Spencer, who's an emergency room um, physician. We have uh, Monica Nealis, who is a physician's assistant, Scott Ulrich, who's a physician's assistant, and then myself as a nurse practitioner. And then we actually have a billing specialist, Katie Davenport, and our office manager, Craig Sorensen. And so we have a very unique group of people that came together to really give it our all. And I think that's sure. been... The, the most, um, you know, the biggest learning curve is to just stick in it and not to give up and to know that it takes time and it takes time to grow. And I, I would, I um, somewhat put myself in charge of 
part of the advertising and I know nothing about that. So that's been a huge <laughs> learning curve. Um, so yeah, we're just all jumping in and, and doing things that are outside of our realm, having to learn all the business side of things, but it's yeah. been, it's been a great opportunity and I continue to learn every single day. I like that. I love to hear that because that's what everyone goes through as a, as a, in, in business ownership is you have to wear many hats to get things rolling. Yeah. Um, now, nowadays you see a big, is there a big wave maybe of these new practitioners coming out either in the medical world and dental world, even that they don't want to be business owners. They want to just be, you know, just want to have that nine to five and go home and not have to worry about how the business runs. I would say in general, that's the way that we are somewhat trained um, okay. is just to join another practice. I've mm -hmm. seen more now actually than ever um, providers coming right out of school and opening their own practice. Really? Okay. And I've never seen as much of that before. Um, and it is definitely, you know, there's pros and cons to both. And um, I'm proud of all the people that are coming out and wanting to own their own businesses. There's definitely, it takes an amazing office manager and, mm -hmm. and a billing specialist and um, learning the ropes as far as getting your, your name out there. So it is not easy. I would definitely say it's much um, not easier, but it, 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 it is, um, there are pros and cons to being an employee sure. versus being a business owner. And sure. I would say up front, you probably make um, a better income if you become an employee. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah. um, but long term, obviously, the goal is to have something that you're invested in as a as an individual or as a group and, and have that long term benefit of all of the sweat equity that you put into the very beginning. So pros and cons to both. It's true. I like that because it is true. Like you can make typically more money being an employee right off the bat. And and many people, you know, don't want to have to go through all that sweat equity to get to that point where you're you're actually making a decent living, you know. Or so that's, can't that's afford good, to. Yeah. Or can afford to, yeah. Because in medicine, one of the things I don't think people recognize is when you start a new practice, you don't really start making revenue. Um, for probably a year later. And so my first paycheck was $289 for a whole month. <laughs> so put that well, in perspective. It's a, nice, <laughs> it's a nice, nice dinner right there. That's a <laughs> right? Yeah. So you definitely yep. have to be prepared for the, um, for how long it takes because insurance companies take anywhere from three months to a year to you know, on the back end to do all of that reimbursement. And it doesn't mean that all of your bills get to stop. No, <laughs> your no, rent, and your employees. And <laughs> so yeah, that's you're taking, an eye opener. You're taking money out of your own pocket to make those bills happen. That's for sure. So yeah, it's interesting too, because people think that in the world of medicine, that it's such a lucrative um, place to be. And I understand too, because I you know, I have my own private insurance and I have an $8,500 deductible. Um, I understand medicine is expensive, but at the end of the day, um, by the time the insurance companies reimburse and roll back, we're looking at probably 25% of that actual cost. So be kind to your medical providers and understand sure. they're not just in it um, for the money. And um, because I would, I, I, I honestly would probably make more money as an RN working at the hospital right now. But why do I do it? Because I'm super, super passionate about making a difference in people's lives. And that's why people go into medicine, we go into medicine, to make a difference. It's not a a, a lucrative opportunity for, <laughs> for a lot of people. So I just would encourage people to be kind to your medical providers and, and hope that we are kind back and can really make a difference in you owning your own health. And um, that's why I love medicine is I really, I spend a lot of time on prevention and helping people with the basics, with sleep and food and breathing and getting sunshine and drinking water. Um, that's what really gets me up in the morning and gets me going to work is knowing that I'm going to get to meet people every single day where I get to make a difference in their life. That's great. 
That's great. <clears throat> I love to hear that. And I love, you know, because you do, you, you hear so many different myths about the medical field. And that's one of them is just, you know, you guys have your, your education is not cheap, number one. Right. <laughs> I'm still paying student loans. Yeah, that's it's it's it's, it's tough. You guys have made a huge sacrifice to get to where you are. And I'm sure you probably hear st sick and tired of people say, well, that that appointment just paid your BMW payment. Right. Yeah. <laughs> not only do I not drive a BMW, but, <laughs> um, but you know, there are doctors that, that have a lucrative living um, sure. and there are medical That's providers, fine. but it didn't, they didn't just pop out of medical school um, That's right. making a lot of money. There is always an upfront sacrifice and That's right. Um, to every business, you know, you yep. don't just get to buy a McDonald's and or, you know, any other business and immediately start making money. So just keep that in mind and keep in mind all the hours. And, yeah. you know, I'm never off. I am on. I, I work, you know, all the time because I own my own business now. So yep. I'm checking emails. I'm, you know, finishing charts. There are a lot of hours in medicine that are mm -hmm. not just what, what the, what the person sees. Um, and so, um, yeah. I like that. It's worth it. No, it's, it's great. It's great to hear that perspective of things uh, within the medical side of business. Yeah. So well, let's, let's enter into the lightning round. We've got a few minutes left here. Um, the lightning round is sponsored by Lookout Credit Union. These guys are located from Burley, uh, Pocatello, Idaho Falls, and Blackfoot. So almost skipped one. And these guys are a phenomenal bunch of people. They are, they're there to help you uh, as you're growing a business. They're there to help you uh, even help manage your finances if you're, if you're stuck. These guys are, are just a great bunch of people. And if you go into one of their branches and open up one, a, a new account and mention that you heard about us, heard about them on the podcast, you'll get a free swag bag uh, when it comes to opening up your new account. And it's perfect timing because it's summertime. You get your new hat, you got your shirt, you got everything you need for the summer enjoyment within that swag bag. So go out, go look out and, and make that happen. Open up your new account today. Okay, Christina. Best book slash tool or software that has maybe been a game changer for you? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that that definitely puts me on the spot. Um <laughs> I I'm gonna have to say Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Um, I love that one. one of my many hats that I wear is that I have been involved in various network marketing companies since 2000. 11. And um, I am so grateful for that opportunity because it really has opened my eyes up to the value of those types of businesses and to supporting everybody that does those types of businesses, but more so because those types of businesses are rooted in personal development. And I've always been a huge personal development person. I don't read novels. I don't read any books, unless it has to do with personal development or me learning sure. something um, that helps me grow in my profession. And there's nothing wrong with reading novels. I think that's amazing. Mm -hmm. I just have always been geared towards personal development. So things like Think and Grow Rich, um, I mean, that's such an old book, but such a good one for business foundation. Um, I love um, uh, Maxwell. I love all of the personal development books. I love Jim Rohn. Um, and there is, what is the book? Um, oh gosh, I can't think of the name of it, but just, I always encourage everybody um, to always work on personal development. Always find a book that makes you better tomorrow than you are today. And so if I'm not on YouTube watching videos, I'm listening to a book on Audible, um, or actually, you know, if I find a book on Audible that I love, I buy the book and I'm highlighting it and I'm reading it. My, one of my offices or one of my patient rooms at Ridgeline Medical has a bookshelf that is full of different types of books that I encourage people as we're, as they're waiting for me and, or I'll show them books. I give a lot of homework and that homework <laughs> to my patients is always either learn something about, you know, how to eat, how to sleep, how to take sure. good care of yourself, how to love yourself, how to respect yourself, how to become better. 
Sure. Or the slight edge. That's the one I was thinking of. That's another really, really good one. The slight edge is about all the little tiny things that you do every single day compound over time. It's not uh, looking so far into the future or the past. It's living today and being the best you can today. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm writing that one down. The slight, the slight edge. edge by Jeff Olson. It's very similar sure. to the. Um, there's another book called The Entrepreneur Roller Coaster. Fairly okay. similar. Okay, perfect. Yeah. That sounds great. Well, I'll tell you one book I love, and I've talked about many times on these episodes, <clears throat> and it's entertaining and uh, it helps you develop as a business owner. It's called Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. It's the story of how he awesome. started Nike. And it is, it is phenomenal. So it's cool. just, you get to, you get to make that journey with him, but how he, he, the ups and the downs that he did, uh, that he went through uh, starting that, that massive brand. And, and it was just, Absolutely. it's just a cool book. So people tend to see the the fame and the money that occurs after the years and years and years yeah. of sacrifice and yeah. uh, <laughs> so it's always and, good and to they, bear in mind that everybody has to start from the bottom that's right but and then then they say oh they've got an easy right <laughs> well of course of course we do it you know at that point you know it's still not easy but you know all the sweat equity that's gone in that you haven't seen you yeah know, it's funny yeah okay <clears throat> what's one of the biggest myths business owners need to know the truth about in your mind um, I would say if if there is some presentation of get rich quick, it's probably not got a great foundation. Um, it doesn't mean that some people don't get rich quick, but again, mm -hmm. everything that we've talked about today is all of the upfront sacrifice and the mental headspace that you have to be in to persevere through all of that because it would be very easy um, well, not maybe very easy, but it would be easier for me to go back out and get a job as an employee and have a fairly steady um, income, but I'm, I'm putting in that time and effort and sacrifice now um, because it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. I think anybody that starts their own business has, has several years of, um, if not longer, of barely making it. And mm -hmm. that's been a, that's been a big, I, I wasn't ready for that. I think the way that it was presented to me in the beginning was, oh, well, here's what you did before. And if you get X percentage of that, you should be sitting pretty. And it's like, um, <laughs> it didn't exactly happen that way, but it's okay. Cause I'm, I'm adaptable and I'm figuring it out and I'm making it happen. And I have an amazing team of people that are doing the same thing and you have to be in that right headspace. That's great. I love that. Love that answer. Okay. Well, last, last question here. What's one question I should have asked that I did not. And what's your answer oh. to it? Oh goodness. Um, I don't know. Um, hey, I could have been perfect this episode. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, I think you did awesome. I think you did really good. This was so fun and it was a great opportunity for me and I would love to do it again. I love maybe that, yeah. one of the questions we could ask is since I'm kind of one of the first medical people that you've had on here, sure. what do people want to know? And then you can have me back and I can answer all those okay. questions. I like it. <clears throat> I like that a lot. We can make that happen. We'll put Perfect. that in our Facebook page and see what, what questions we get. So now with people listening and thinking, wow, Christina seems like a real cool cat. I want, to, I want to use her as my provider. How, what's the best way for people to get a hold of you? I am a super cool cat, by the way. But <laughs> <laughs> um, Ridgeline Medical and Urgent Care. We are open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. We do have even extended hours for the primary care side of things. And our phone number is 208-715-9990. And we would absolutely love for you to become part of the practice, to come see it. We, as I said, we have an entire team of medical providers. We have an awesome collaborative team approach, which I think is very unique and also enables you to have the urgent care. We're a brand new facility, so it's very nice and clean and up to date. 
And we really pride ourselves in doing the best that we can to make the experience a happy one. We realize that people don't always love to come to their medical provider, but we want you to feel happy when you come in and be greeted with smiles and to just enjoy it. We're there to help you, not to make your life miserable. We try to really keep um, wait times short and respect your time. As we know, it's very important. So check us out. You can also go to ridgelinemedical.org. Perfect. Well, again, Christina, thank you for being on the on the show with us today. You've thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Sorry, I couldn't get my my um, video to work. I'm I, I am not perfect, and I'm very technologically challenged. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. We can put a nice picture of you right up. Oh, perfect. That's so theirs. Good. Thank well, you. No problem. And those who are listening, like always, go out there, go conquer your week. Stay away from those negative people that just want to bring misery into your life and just keep on living. You know, watch Joe Dirt last night. Life's a garden. <laughs> you got to <laughs> dig it. Love you it. know, what do you say? What do you say? Keep on keeping on. So <laughs> you can see, Christina, I, I'm, I'm well versed in the uh, in the comedy. You know, it's I probably perfect. should be I watching love it. more. You got to love Joe Dirt. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. <laughs> so keep it up, guys. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, don't give us a rating and review. And it's always great for that, uh, for our for our episodes in our podcast. So until next episode, see you all later. Thanks, Christina. Congratulations on spending a couple of minutes getting a little bit smarter, having some fun, and supporting the Idaho business community. If you're feeling the love, make sure to subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you are.